In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, actually create your transcription and do your timing in uh, a Mac program called ScreenFlow, which is a pretty often used um, screen capture utility. So what I've got here is I've got my my file and I've loaded up my video in my file and I've brought it into the timeline. So that's what you see here. So in ScreenFlow, you've got the audio and the video all merged into one. And so that I can see it better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach the audio. And I'm just going to do a little quick flip between these file formats so that I can see the audio. And so I've got audio on top, video at the bottom. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, use the transport controls to zoom in. And if I hit play, you'll hear the music. All right. So I've now got a way of seeing that. Uh, I am going to uh, increase the audio size just so I can see that a little bit better. And uh, so I want to do my transcript. So let's start trans transcribing and syncing this document. So the way that um, ScreenFlow does this is under Views, you're going to open up another component of the um, the timeline, and that is the caption track. So I'm going to click on Views, Show Caption Track. And what you'll see here is a new track. And I can choose to make these. These are three seconds long by default, and that works pretty well. So this is my first track here. And what I have here, I've got two different transports. This controls. This transport control controls the timeline at the bottom. This transport control controls the uh, caption track. So, uh, so I'm just going to put play. And I hit stop here. And so I know that this one's music. So I'm going to type in music. Again, I'm going to use the conventions. I'm going to use, since this is an action and not a narrator, I'm going to use the conventions of bracket, all caps, and then close back bracket, and that gives me my music. This second one um, is also music. I can leave that blank, or I can choose to type in music again so that it goes uh, carries across that track. Um, music. Or I could just decide to make that whole track uh, so here I've done it twice. When I go to export, this could be a little funky. So instead of doing this, um, uh, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to make this track, this track here, I'm going to make a six seconds long. And so now um, it's six seconds long. Now when I come here, when I hit play, Let's set up. Let's set up. Next one. The Nexus 10. The Nexus 10. The Nexus 10. Next one. The well, first thing I'm going to do is over here. The first. Thing I am I am going to do and you would continue on uh, until your file is done notice that there are three second increments and a timing on this is, is slightly uh, you know I can't drag and drop the timelines I have to change everything numerically so it's a little bit awkward in terms of that and and you know it'll show up on screen here at 12 seconds even though it doesn't start until 13 seconds so not exactly timed um, as as accurately as other processes, but it's a really great all-in-one solution.